I'm gonna start off with a little get ready with me. I feel like it's been a while. First up, starting with some sunscreen. As you just saw, we are on the island. It's not like a, a tropical island, it's Vancouver Island, but it is really, really sunny here. Staying sun protected as always. Get the neck, get the ears. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to kind of get away for the weekend. Previous vlog, you know, just been hectic with the cafe, with the soft opening, and just getting everything lined up. Just nice to get away for a little bit. Because until the cafe's really like up and running, up and running, I don't think we'll be really able to take a long extended vacation. It's nice to get away just for like a quick weekend trip. Ryan and Jasper are currently out for a little walk. Oh yeah, this was the tinted moisturizer from Fenty. It just kind of helps lightly even everything out. Going with a bit of a lip tint and then I'm just gonna dab that on my cheeks. We're going for like a summery, sun-kissed, you know, vacation holiday vibe. I'm gonna keep the makeup quite light today and finish off with a little bit of powder. Tiny bit of my favorite highlight. This one's from Westman Atelier. It just gives you that nice, glowy dewy look pretty much means sweaty but i like it maybe a bit more blush on the wine bar that we went to last night it was called tourist here in victoria it was so nice like it was nice in a way that like it was cool but it wasn't pretentious and the food and the wine it was just such a cool pairing like i love the chrome with the like light wood accents it just looks so good they had like, these speakers on the wall it was just such a cool vibe definitely in the future we want like an evening concept but first let's just let's just get the cafe rolling um someone in the previous vlog was like joe you may have adhd like um that's maybe why you kind of feel restless and want to start like different things and whatever. And finishing off with a little setting spray and that's pretty much it for the look. Oh, also this hotel room, they upgraded us. It's fucking massive. It's huge. Hold on. You gotta roll up the sleeves. Look at that. All right, quick room tour. This is where Jasper sleeps, where we sleep. You know, nice size room. But then boom, a full on Sweet. I mean, it's quite dated, but you know, we got AC. Look how massive. Like this is bigger than our actual apartment. We live in a studio. Like this is a this is a luxury. Dining table. Wow. But before we continue on with the day, I want to say a big thank you to Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. You already know about the pace breaker shorts. Versatile, functional. Wow. Wow, got the two regular pockets, hidden zipper pocket, perfect for all your travel or gym goodies. Just a good looking pair of black shorts. Also, most likely, if you look back on any of my workout footage from the past like five years, 99% of the times, I'm gonna be in the pace breaker shorts. Like, I kid you not. I wear them at the cafe, I wear them for traveling, out and about, in the gym. It is truly one of the most versatile pairs of shorts. Hi, Jasper. Hi. How was your walk? How was it? How was it? Hi. Oh, 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 did you even roll over? Roll, roll over. over. Roll over. Oh, come, on. come on, you can do it. Come here. Try again. Go down. Jasper loves the Go carpet. Down. I think oh, every. Roll over, roll over. Oh. Joshua 
tree park here. All the trees are named Joshua. Is this what Joshua tree looks like? What's in my bag? It's fucking filthy in there. Okay, close it up. Close it up. Yeah, we don't. Well, our cold brew uses our Ethiopian bean. Are you ready for the vlog? We oh got it. <laughs> the barista. What? Oh. Okay. Get a bite. Hey, that's cute. Hey. That's cute. <laughs> Uh, folks, grab a coffee, grab a bevy. It's a little Q and A. I feel like the last one was ages ago, and uh, you guys had a ton of questions. I don't know who you are or why I follow you, but you seem cool. Saludos from Argentina, by the way. You know, I appreciate that. <laughs> How's Jasper? Jasper's here. He's chilling. He's almost eight years old, or maybe seven years old. Is opening a business with your partner something you would recommend to other couples? Honestly. I don't know. Yes and no. Starting a business with your partner is a lot. There's a lot of positives, but there's also a ton of negatives. I don't think I would recommend starting a business with your partner if you guys, you know, have been together for like a year or two, because it definitely adds a ton of additional stress. I think you gotta have your communication like down packed before you start something like this, especially something like coffee shop, cafe, where it's like customer facing. And coffee shops are like such a vibe and community space. If you and your partner are arguing, like the people are gonna sense that. Your staff are gonna sense that. And although in an ideal world, yes, work is work and your relationship is another thing, it, it's not like that. Like everything eventually becomes intertwined. And it's not like this is uh, an e-commerce, like service-based business, it's customer facing. I don't know, there's just so much more involved, but at the same time, nobody is going to understand you like your partner, not only just from a work perspective, but also emotionally, um, they'll get you like no other business partner. If you take time to relax and take your mind off of work, um, I'm sure it's hard not to think about. I mean, I definitely try to, but I think I've come to a place where I'm just realistic about how much work-life separation I can really get, especially as a content creator. Maybe if I was, you know, just a coffee shop owner, there is that separation from the shop to at home. But, you know, because I'm filming at home, I'm always thinking about what's the next piece of content, not just for my brand, but also me as a content creator, but then also the cafe as well. But anytime I'm watching YouTube videos, anytime I'm scrolling, it's like always in the back of my mind. Yeah, ideally, it would be nice to have that complete separation. I just don't really think it's possible right now with where I am doing what I'm doing. Work-life balance looks different for everybody else. You know, if you're working nine to five, maybe it's you clock in, you clock out, and then after five, that's your you know personal life. That's your work-life balance. I think for what I'm doing, that work-life balance becomes a lot more segmented. What is the most difficult thing about working with your partner? I think just trying to pinpoint where our stressors are coming from. Honestly, I think it's just the communication, right? I think you just have to be so, so open about how you're feeling and, you know, 
if anything's causing you stress. You know, is it a business related thing? Is it a personal thing? Is it, you know, where is like the stress coming from and being able to communicate that with your partner? That can be very difficult. But what's really helped, like I mentioned before, is that Ryan is mainly in charge of like the operational day to days of the cafe. And I'm focusing mainly on the marketing, branding, and the admin side. So at least we have our individual roles and we kind of communicate with each other on how we're doing with our roles. We were both working on the exact same things at the same time, like constantly butting heads. I think that would be really, really difficult. Um, like I just, I, I don't think that would even work out. I think my biggest tip is have your own roles and just trust your partner that they are going to do that job better than you can. What are some business ventures you would like to get into if given the possibility? If I had no like restriction and I could do whatever I want, it would be A, an energy drink company. Um, not like a typical standard energy drink. It would definitely be like a, like a matcha or yerba mate based kind of energy. Um, I think that would be really, really fun because I love I love energy drinks. Incorporating different like adaptogen and mushroom complexes I think would be really beneficial and something that I would personally be interested in um, as a consumer. Um, B, I would love to have like a candy company. I fucking love candy. Like I have the biggest sweet tooth. Like it's actually bad, but I don't know if I want like a zero sugar candy. Like I feel like that would probably be better, but I feel just like a, a classic candy company would be so cool. I also think delving into like skincare and beauty, not necessarily like a makeup line, but like, I know it's very trendy, but like, like a skincare makeup hybrid, but I think there's a way that like, it makes it more accessible to people who are not very familiar with makeup products, not like makeup for men, but like, I don't know, there, I feel like there's like a missing category there. So I feel like that would be something I would be really interested in as well. Lots of different ideas. Um, who knows, maybe I'll look back at this video 10 years later with a fucking candy company, a candy skincare energy drink company. Who knows, who knows? Yeah, today is like a sit down editing day. Tomorrow is gonna be interesting because we are short staffed at the cafe, like, <laughs> Not too sure how it's gonna go, but um, I guess you guys will see. See you at the cafe tomorrow. Okay, bye. Uh, we got the coffee cream as well as uh, Earl Grey and cassis. Absolutely killed oh. it. <laughs> that was wild. Three of our staff were out of town traveling. So we had one staff member. So it was already like a short staff day, like very short staff. But then he wasn't feeling really well. And um, it was just us. It ended up being one of our busiest days. So I haven't eaten anything. Some pastries. But um, we made it work. This was like literally our very first pop-up at Dear Gus. We weren't sure how busy it was gonna be and it was absolutely, we were slammed and it was just us two. We and literally just doubled the sales from that day. Like literally. I think I need to throw up. I almost did.